This video is brought to you by Gunplay SA, South Africa's favorite place for gunpla, related tools, supplies, resources, community, and so much more. Check out gunplaysa.com. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Gunpla SA Talks, Chats. We don't have a name yet. You can uh, put that I, th in the I think for us. Yeah, I think we called it GPSA. Nice and GPS, simple. Yeah. GPS say. GP say I don't know whatever <laughs> this is the second episode of whatever we're calling it and uh, I'm Paul and this is Jeff and today we're going to be talking about well what's happening with Gunplay SA uh, what's happening in the community and what's happening of course with us model kits wise and stuff so Jeff how are you dude hmm, very good yeah how are you doing sorry I've got to turn this way because things are worried I am <laughs> cool man I'm very cool yeah, I, I this, am I think you and I are very much on the same level right now. We're on kind of a buzz. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. We we got a, a, a new stock drop not too long ago, and yeah, it was full of some fantastic. Yeah, things. yeah, it yeah, hasn't it been a week, awesome. so so we still kind of like uh, really hyped about it. So yeah, yeah, so so now it's kind of settling in. You know, yeah, feels good. Sweet, yeah, and it's just been it's been awesome. It's been like really really overwhelming, and I think uh maybe before we get into everything uh we just want to just thanks guys for being so awesome thank you guys for loving this stuff um and for getting about as excited about it as we do it's really really mm. cool to see it uh reminds us but or it it sort of you know it's a feedback loop you guys get excited mm. about stuff we get excited about then we get excited about doing more of it and it just it's a it's a knock on effect so yeah yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm hoping that when some of the build force are watching this, uh, they're building some kits. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, like, so that's hopefully, cool. like when, when you watch or listen to this video, you know, you're working on your new orders that you got for yourself or, you know, your backlog. Um, oh, you're attacking that backlog. Yeah, more on that. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's something, yeah, something that Paul wants to talk about. Yeah, about attacking your backlog. Um, but uh, how I feel the most excited I get is about every time we get like new stock. Okay, like we, we just start, so we haven't been getting that much of like uh, new stock. This is our second time getting stock, but uh, it's um, new members joining our build, build force, you know, so that's what I'm most excited about. Yeah, yeah we're seeing so joining yeah, the yeah, exactly right. We're seeing these guys, mm. complete strangers, getting excited about stuff, and yeah, guys just get as excited. It's just it's mm. a cool thing. So, yeah. on that topic of maybe building things or new stuff, uh, anything new, Jeff? Anything cool and new and exciting that has come your way? Yeah. Um, so, my. Uh, <laughs> let me just get my kit here. He's reaching to the back. <laughs> so, the, the first postcard that podcast that we did in like end of December, I said I was going to like create a whole video series based on the RX-78, um, the origin version. Um, so I've made two tutorials so far already for it. And then there's going to be a few more to come. Yeah. So just continue with that. Um, yeah. And how about you? Ooh, wow. Um, okay. So let's start with this. Uh, also, oh, copy. Now my wire is knocking my mic. Okay, so this is a small thing I've got going at the moment. I've also got an RX-78 mm -hmm. Origins build. Um, I will get this to you guys, but I did do a bit of a seam fix on this bazooka. It's mm. pretty straightforward if uh, if you've been building kits for a while, but if you guys don't know, I am just doing a little bit of a blog post and stuff on how you can fix that and make it work for yourself and remove those seams because it's a little bit more than just doing a seam filling exercise. Mm. And this is so that you can actually paint it separately and then put it together later if you need to. So that's the yeah. first thing. Oh, and now it's it's fallen asleep. Um, yeah, looking forward to that. And then I'm still busy on this bad boy, who I was ex uh, expecting to have primed already. Uh, but it's my Barbatos, my Master Grade Bar uh, Barbatos. And yeah, I've been doing all kinds of crazy stuff like cutting into wood and <laughs> describing new panel lines and... It's just been nuts and I'm having a lot of fun with it. And for you eagle eyed viewers, if you're wondering what that white mess is there on the chest, uh, there we go. Uh, yeah, that's plate, when you, yeah, that's plug plate. That's when you mess up your um, scribing job and you want to do it better. 
So hmm. that's how I fixed that. I didn't use putty. I know a lot of guys like to use putty. I don't always have the patience for putty. So I just normally will just fill it in with some plug plates and then sand the hell out of it. Oh, okay, okay. And then <laughs> do a little bit of putty and stuff over it later and hmm. get it right. Anyway, so that's Barbatos. Um, something cool. You guys, hold on. I'm off camera right now. So, uh, if you guys shoot back to our most recent unboxing video that we did of when the stock arrived, um, I grabbed something off screen. So maybe some of you guys know what that is already. Um, but I got a whole bunch of these Gundam markers. Ooh, the reflection on that is so delicious. Okay, so I got a bunch of these Gundam markers. These are the panel type, uh, panel liner type, very similar to what, you know, what a lot of guys are using, but these are a bit more marker type and they got a bit more of a painty feel. And I wanted to test these out before we bring a whole bunch of them in the shop because mm -hmm. the last thing I want is for you guys to use them um, and then get upset because you paid money for these crazy mm. markers and they're not doing what you want them to do. So busy working on some stuff with that. Also got uh, some of these crazy things over here. Uh, one of them is a clear coat marker. I didn't even know that existed until I saw it and I had to grab one. The other one is a chrome marker. Then there's a silver marker and there's another clear coat marker and Mm. I'm showing you the back of them because that's so much cooler than the front <laughs> of them. Apparently. Yeah, there's there's two clears. There, one is a matte and one is a gloss. So uh, yeah, yeah. I, I know you want to do some experiments with them. And then yeah, like once you're done with your experiment, just you know, I, I'll I'll get some experience with them as well because like I feel strongly about this. Like we shouldn't like as people selling these products, we should have a better understanding of what we're selling before we just like bring them in with no understanding. So like, of so that we have the, the experience to share with people as well, you know? You know? Yeah, that and, and, and also just to like be able to, I mean, not even if it's like, if it's something that we carry, just be able to advise you guys, you know? If mm, it's, exactly. If it's like yeah. worth it. Then I also got these. <laughs> uh, <laughs> these are special punches. They're designed to cut um, styrene in those funky shapes that you see on the top there so that mirror finish you see that that's what it cuts it into so it's, it's very much like if you've got a, a mom or an aunt or a grandma or something that does like scrapbooking they've got like <laughs> similar stuff but it's all like wavy patterns and flowers and mm. that kind of but, stuff but these are these are heavy duty right so they can cut through plug plates not just I, paper they are heavy right? duty i think they're just as hardcore as the as the deco ones but okay. you know the thing is the shape that they have is pretty cool so i got two of these mm. i'm yeah, yeah. very excited um i want to show you guys what we can do with these at some point in the mm. future and yeah, then, you can make like vents vent vent details or, or yeah heat sinks surface stuff. yeah totally yeah exactly yeah and then mm. also last little thing uh you're going to see this a little bit more it's the <laughs> zgok cutting mat i couldn't resist Okay, um, like full disclosure, wasn't sure how many guys in the build, for, build force are, were gonna like go mad for a Zgok cutting mat. But uh, <laughs> if you are nuts for one and you see this and you're like, oh my word, Paul, we want one. Um, well, we'll get them for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see like a, a Screech, one of our um, a customer and Discord member, he's starting to get kind of tracked to these uh, Balkia then you saw the Zcock he's in the UK at the moment and yeah. he's in the hobby shop and it's like oh the RG Zcock looks so cool dude you know, Zcock so it's is starting cool. to warming up yeah to him Zcock mm. and then uh this is actually something I ordered a while ago and this is actually one of the reasons I'm talking about backlogs uh and then I got this bad boy here the Lunar Gods mm. um not yeah Lunar it's the Lunar Gods from Machine and Krieger uh you guys, uh, I, I know one of you has, at least one of you has picked up the MAK the or the MAK-K yeah. um, mm. raccoon that we've got in the store. Uh, these kits are so, so cool. Uh, mm. They just require a different skill set. I don't want to make it sound like the, like I know in the last video I sort of called them like, I don't even remember, I, what did I call them? Like proper kits? Like, no, no, like real, <laughs> real model kits. Real model kits. <laughs> um, but like, I didn't mean it like as in a, oh wow, it's like so much above you. It's just, they do require more work. So mm. I would say mm. this is a more hard working, you have to work a little bit harder to get mm. the, the joy out of this kit. Well, not the joy, the joy is in the hard work that you put in, mm. but to get the results. So I don't want this to intimidate guys. I reckon, mm. I reckon everybody who's watching this, uh, this podcast right now that has at least built 
and painted and done some seam fixing on Gundam kits is certainly ready to build one of these bad boys. Mm. Cool thing yeah. about this is um, these are starting to get in po- uh, gain in popularity. Anyway, that's just me getting excited about <laughs> sci-fi gu- uh, stuff so that you guys know that we're not just like Gundam fanboys. I mean, we love mm. Gundam. I love Gundam. But we also like, the- we love other robots no, too. It's, it's diversity, you know, diversity. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put it away now. <laughs> yeah, stop anyway. touching. We're gonna get flagged. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna get, yeah, yeah. No, we don't wanna get like copyright flagged. I mean, <laughs> when, not co- we like, get like copyright like, flagged. Like, no, no. I mean, I mean, like, um, you know, um, R eighteen yeah, flagged. I yeah, don't know what it's cool. called. <laughs> it's just, Demonetized it's just or something. It's just, not it's like just we're not hack. like we're, yeah, not not like we're monetized yet anyway. So we're like exactly. still far away from that. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Ooh, yeah. So, what's next? There we, um, well, uh, what <laughs> else is next? There's so much cool stuff that's been happening. So, uh, we, I don't know if you guys know about it. Uh, a lot of the Bold Force does because you guys are on the Discord already. Uh, if you've bought anything from us, uh, you should have, you should have received a, a link or a code to get you into our Discord. And that is, or if you're a Patreon Force member, f- yeah, or if you like via Patreon supporting yes. us from overseas then you can also get into the discord yeah yeah and what is the discord all about so we just want to sh- uh, give you guys a bit of a glimpse into the community uh we're very much about the community because well mm. the community is us so um jeff i just want to just check i'm going to share something on the screen now with these guys um and we're going to start with some work yeah. in product uh, work in progress and finished kids yeah yeah build. so so uh, before getting to that like just a reminder like you know with with we as gun players say we're not just bringing products like we're about bringing building the community and nurturing so discord is a great way to, to build that community so what we want to share with you guys is like um since when we launched in december up till now what the state of our discord community is like by showing um the work in progress or the finished builds from our members you know just so you can see mm. you know if you're an international viewer um you can see what the state of the south african um um community is like actually no not, not just the south african like because remember we do have some international guys in there as well there. Sh- yeah sure they're work in progress and it's not just about gunplay you know uh, it's anything creative so there's some guys like jetto he shares his uh, 3d prints leo also as well he does his own 3d prints as well uh you know we've got ninja stein dr ninja stein <laughs> he shares um lots of uh, crazy kit bashes so we are you know, we're gonna see some of that yeah yeah guys yeah exactly that i mean we just want to we're creating a safe space for model builders. <laughs> it's kind of what we're going for. Uh, but yeah, like also, yeah, it's a, it's a community, everything Jeff said. And I'm going to add to the stream. Give me two seconds. Two, one. Boom. Boom. We've got all kinds of stuff happening here. I was starting um, with my cat over there. <laughs> no, we got Jeff's cat. Um, <laughs> Lucky. Lucky. So Jeff's cat. Uh, I gotta say, Jeff, this is very good build. Very realistic. <laughs> I like how you got the fur. <laughs> Quite lifelike. <laughs> so um, yeah. So this is just a, a small peek. Uh, obviously, yeah. we don't want to be so, so, here too long. Yeah. So we're rewinding back about two weeks back because if we go back to like beginning of January, it's gonna be such a long time. Like we're gonna be here for like two hours. So exactly. I think maybe if we do this g- going forward, if we do this podcast every two weeks, I think that would be a good build up of like recapping of what has happened in our discord every two weeks you know? yeah exactly what's going cool down for, yeah it'll be cool for everybody to see like you know um yeah to see their stuff on on our video that that goes into the world you know for everybody totally. to see so yeah so we've got um uh um what's it anthony and rico yeah with his sons. Actually, yeah let's not so yeah. we're, we're not going to disclose their real names we're going to use okay. their like screen names Mm. Um, but yeah, uh, Andrico has got this uh, Origins RX-78. Mm. Jeff, you can go for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he bought the, this uh, HG Origin Gundam for his son. So that, that this is his son's uh, first Gundam. So it looks like a great progress already. So uh, we're looking forward yeah, to seeing more of it. It's a great job there. Then we got mm. uh, uh, Natas, Natas LCF. Yeah. And he's got his, it looks like a real grade wing. Yeah, it's a real grade wing. And what he's showing there, he's building his own um, 
action base or just the base. And I see he's building out of a cod, like very, um, how do you say, innovative. Like thick um, great. yeah. Yeah, yeah, and he's putting coins in the middle. Um, if you just click on it and uh, see, I think, yeah, yeah, I think he's putting some coins in the middle just to weigh it down, you know? It's very clever. Very, very cool. Hmm. Uh, by the way, uh, guys, if you don't want us to show your stuff online, tough. Um, well, like we have told the guys uh, beforehand no, we that, have, you know, we have beef, yeah, to, <laughs> to be in I'm video. Just being so, yeah. <laughs> this is something that's really stood out in the uh, build force in our Discord. Mm. Uh, Dr. Ninjenstein, uh, Ninji yeah, so Stein. A, yeah, so he's uh, one of our uh, international patrons in, based in the US and he loves to do uh, crazy kit bashes. So what I can see here is using like some military model kits parts, um, mm. like kit bashing with um, 30 minutes missions kits. Um, obviously he's putting some masking tape just to like, how would you call it? like? pre-assemble it just to see if ideas gels before you commit and cement things down or all that kind of thing so it's really great yeah he's yeah. sketching his pre-build there so that's pretty mm. cool and then there's just um there's quite a bit of progress uh i mean i'm just going to make one of these bigger that's that's quite mm. impressive it's just it's kit bashing and and it's scratch building and you know i love that kind of thing personally i love mm. seeing that and you can just see this sort of evolve as we go through yeah. And, uh, and the, it's just going back to the topic of kit bashing, like um, you want to use, like um, you can use masking tape just to hold it in place, or you can use um, Prestic or in yeah. international, they call it Blue Tack, just to see Some, if you like. Similar yeah. though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just yeah. different things. Otherwise, yeah. I know some guys even go as far as to use wood glue because you can remove wood glue later with warm water. Mm. I'm not okay. saying you should do that because it's a pain in the butt, but some guys do do it. It doesn't um, really hold so well and takes a long time to cure or to dry up. I don't those, know. Like, yeah. you know, it's I, I've never seen, before somebody's I've, like, I've, I've never you seen. can use Elmer's glue. And I'm like, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Knock yourself out with that one. Um, but Look, yeah, it's freedom, right? Pretty you well use, whatever, yeah. we'll use whatever you want and what, whatever works for you. So, yeah. Exactly. Hmm. And then we got um, oh. Jeff. Uh, <laughs> I think Jeff yeah, that, can, can that, describe this better than I can. That, that, that background looks like <laughs> the same studio setup as mine. Uh, so, <laughs> so that's my girlfriend yeah, so, building her. <laughs> oh, no. I love how he like, tells everybody this is his girlfriend. This is what happens to Jeff if you splash him with cold water. There's a deep cut anime reference for you. He turns into the school. <laughs> Rama, half, whatever that Ranma. name. Anime, yeah, yeah. So. Ranma. This is her um, Infinite Justice. Let's yeah. get you on the screen there quickly. Let's let's just hide this for two seconds. Well, no, no, no. We can just continue. You'll see a better picture anyway. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so, how, just, uh, so yeah. Jeff, how many kids has Cass built now? Like so. Um, this is the Infinite Justice is her third model kit and her first gunpla. Her well, her first model kit was uh, the Haropla, uh, mm -hmm. which um, not really a gunpla, right? It's a Haropla. Um, it's still within the Gundam universe, but yeah, it's not really a proper Gundam. So anyway, um, oh, and uh, her second. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody in the comments is pretty, if they believe, like hitting the people, they're like, what do you mean that real gun up? <laughs> um, and then her Sorry. second model kit was um, uh, Mekatro Wigo, as a mm. one. Uh, and that's like the tiniest model kit that both of um, us have built. So that yeah, was quite a challenge. But then now coming back to Gunpla, like th this is a good, nice size, you know, it's not too big and it's not too small. It's perfect for beginners. Yeah. And then here's Ninji Stein again with Ooh, his like, again. oh, look at my scratch yeah. bolt. I'm like, I'm just like king of the universe. No, I'm joking. Yeah. Um, Making but it's a very, crazy very cool. Frankenstein kid bash. I love it. I love it. Keep going, man. And then here's a picture of um, that uh, completed bolt that uh, that mm. Cassie did um, of that infinite freedom, uh, infinite justice. Yeah. Infinite freedom. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, it's a very cool pose there, by the mm. way, guys. Just saying. Mm. Love love the pose that you, you worked out here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, guys, if you want to check out more of that, Jeff actually did a very, very cool video on that. So um, yeah. the, the link should be in the... the <laughs> yeah, ah, the link should be in the description below. Anyway. Ooh, shameless moving. plug. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm, moving right along. Uh going down uh oh geez here's another one that stood out uh so mm, this is jetto yeah. hobby yeah, yeah. so uh, he's also another patreon of ours um patron of ours patron. in ireland 
yeah and uh he does crazy he's also a youtube content creator and he makes crazy uh custom 3d modeled um and imprinted and then painted um build videos yeah it's really cool yeah so this is his iron man arc reactor so yeah he's also got a video on that so well we'll, we'll drop it in the link in the description as well for you to check out the yeah video. he's got a cool really video cool. with that mm. as you can see there's like a thing happening here then mm. there's a chef's kiss <laughs> from one of the guys see we're very loving here and supportive here's just here's jeff flexing his um editing oh, skills that, or whatever it's it, work in progress but it's on a video <laughs> so i am so feeling mm. i'm so feeling this build at the moment as well from uh ebola Z, uh or ebola Zaye. uh you can tell me how to pronounce <laughs> that one day when we get to meet each other for now i'll just keep butchering it um, but this is a old school master grade, Zaku mm. 1. Yeah, one of the I, earlier ones, right? Mm. Yeah, these kits are so cool because of the amount of extra stuff that Bandai used to put in. I don't know if you know about that, Jeff. Like, the extra old, stuff? Uh, yeah, so the old master grades, when they first came out, they came <clears> up with a bunch of like little hooks and weird kind of things that you could stick on. Stuff that has become like, you know, option parts. They used to actually okay. still put in the box. In fact, this kit probably still came with that. Um, mm. And some of them have like mooring hooks and and all that. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Like the Zaku 2 came with some interesting stuff. The thing is, the catch is, they are not the most advanced model kits you'll ever build. Especially if you've built well, it, it, kit. Like, yeah. like for example, this um, MG Zaku 1, it came out like over 20 years, you know. So this is it's a long time of like... Um, evolution to to bandai's uh, technology you know, of course and techniques so but yeah yeah but what you are seeing here for sure is the level of detail in the kit already like the panel lining mm. is mm. great uh this is the kind of kit that will just make you better anyway if you build something like this just because mm. of the amount of seams you have to fix um but yeah i'm, I'm enjoying watching the progress on this build because yeah. I, I love the zaku one now um, now seeing the zak the, the master grade zaku one it kind of it kind of irritates me a little bit that Banda has yet to make a, you know, a, not even one MG uh, version 2 of the Zaku ones, you know, like they've made a whole bunch of like the Zaku 2s, version 2s, the inner mm -hmm. frames and most of the stuff should be similar the or same. the same. So what's the excuse, you know, come on Bandai. I don't so. know. <laughs> I, I don't know what it is. Um, yeah. Zero. Not wing. even, not even P Bandai, you know, it's, it's so, I can't, like I nothing can't, is and it's Makes weird, sense. man, because mm. there are some iconic Zaku 1 scenes. Mm. I, I think, speculation time, I think we're going to see some Zaku 1s and things maybe a little bit when they when they do like, like an anime that something. is set like, yeah, that is like maybe just pre the one, one year war, like maybe mm. if they did an Origins for Amuro as opposed to just Shah. So we'll see. Mm. Maybe that's when we'll see a lot more of that. Maybe, maybe somehow we'll see more of the ground conflict, like not the eighth <laughs> mobile suit team, but maybe the second or something. Anyway, mm. we can hope, right? Um, so there's this dude called Zero Wing. Hmm. Uh, Jeff, I'm sure you've checked out some of his stuff. He this, this dude, wow, it, it, work. <laughs> this yeah. dude is such an understatement. Like, wow, his work is, is really amazing. So he does like, as you can see, we've got tanks. He's done some miniatures as, as we'll see just now. And then he bought a 30 minutes missions. And wow, the, the, did, amount yeah. of the amount of effort that he puts into, it's it's crazy, crazy. It's awesome. I love this. Mm. I'm, uh, his military vehicles are great. Um, I know that there's tons of videos online on like mm. weathering and all that kind of stuff. And yes, you guys yeah, can like follow them. Expand, expand the tank over there? Oh uh, yeah. You guys can follow all of those videos. People mm. can follow those tutorials, but it takes practice to get this. It takes practice or it takes like an instinct to get it right. And I feel mm. he's really nailed it here. Uh, I, I especially love the, the diorama that he's done here. Yeah. And, yeah, the vignette uh, and is also, great. Yeah. Sets yeah, the scene and, really well. Exactly. And I like that, like, it's not, he, he like tried to create a bit more of a vignette as opposed to trying to create some kind of real building. Just a hmm. vignette, just to, you know, have the, the, the tank on the backdrop there. Very, very nice. Hmm. I'm really digging this. Uh, I know that it's like, you guys weren't expecting us to do like, well, oh, here's Paul and Jeff's review on your kit. This is something <laughs> I've also been dying to speak about. Um, hmm. I've been very quiet about this in the chat, but I want to be quite vocal about it on the video. Uh, this is Andrico's A10. 
and he has done a fantastic job of this as well uh mm -hmm. we've seen two really great model kits one after the other uh this is really really stunning there's a lot that that's won here uh i'm sure many of you guys looking at this are going cool uh you know wow uh Enrico, amazing dude really really loved your a10 um love your a10 uh and i'm a, i'm not a plane i'm i'm not a uh, i don't build planes so hmm. yeah i I'm, myself i'm i'm not too clued up but just anyway uh, like the, the the result is just great like i, I we, we can't we can't wait to see what you can do with your skills put into like either gunpla or just make a you know a model kit you know i've seen a few of your pet labor before but yeah just taking what you've done like applied in in these um airplane model kits into like the, the mecha genre that would be really cool to see totally man yeah and i mean like also it's something that i would like to to mention and this is going to go for antrico and also for um for zero wing your photography guys thank you mm. I love seeing great photography when you're presenting your kits. That's mm, cool. Mm. Like taking that time and just really getting some good photos in mm. there. Uh, the lighting is good. The backdrop is awesome. Mm. This is cool. It's cool to see. I mean, you put in so many hours of your yeah. kit into yeah. this it, kit. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's one way to really show your love for your build is like when you take that extra effort just to, you know, even if it's just a, a cardboard um, white backdrop and just a, a, a you know bringing the light in and don't use flash and just take a nice photo get the camera low and just shoot it upwards or whatever like the 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 little bit of effort extra effort that you put into photography really shows how much you love that model kit you know yeah and then i'm i'm hoping that this video that our podcast yeah. doesn't Leo. clash with this mm. cool human being Lionel <laughs> bold he's doing a fantastic scratch bolt um 3d printing spiel it's, it's crazy um mm. i i've also I know i've said this a lot now but it's also another thing that i've been watching i'm sure many guys many, like many of the bold force have mm. you know just some more of ninji stein but yeah. um I'm, and I, I, the reason i move yeah yeah i anyway, think no, later but, on we will see a bit more of uh, leo's uh, builds um progress and uh, we'll share more about that and actually funny lovely. story about leo is um you know actually um leo's another friend of mine he's also a patron <laughs> from the us in kansas and uh funny story is like if it wasn't for him i don't think um gunplay sa would have became a thing because uh, the reason um yeah because my rg knew um he got it for like well, I paid for it, but he helped, he helped me get it from Amazon in the States. And we shipped it here like, you know, uh, last year in August or something. And, and I just really experienced like, wow, the shipping is so expensive. And it, it's mm -hmm. kind of like the last straw. It's like, mm -hmm. no, we, I, I can't, you know, as a, as a, a YouTube uh, video content creator, I just thought, you know, I can't continue like this importing uh, kits, you know, from Japan or from the States. So I just thought, okay, let me, let me start something local you know um and mm. i i know i know leo when you watch this video i know I, i'm sorry i still haven't built that model kit yet uh, i'll get to it really soon <laughs> yeah don't worry we we, we built something Patience. else so yeah <laughs> uh yeah. throwing out and just to andrico again um mm. it's one of the battleships from the space battleship yamato series mm. it's not the space battleship yamato no uh, yamato but anyway uh point i want to make is also very cool uh mm. great and i love great, the subtle uh, weathering yeah yeah great weathering mm. for the scale uh that's something mm. that's something i think a lot of guys don't fully understand it's mm. like sometimes people just go mad with chips uh, chipping and stuff and i'm like mm, mm. scale is a yeah thing. like yeah like i think for especially for battleships you wouldn't get that much chips uh i i would imagine because you know it, it's a it's a really yeah but that model kit it's a, yeah yeah exactly you get exhaust damage from from you know uh thrusters and Sun. all that you know? yeah. well okay if it was a ship on earth going through the ocean there's a lot mm. of things that affect it um <laughs> but in space yeah it's gonna get clipped by like little stones i mean stones, mm -hmm. little uh asteroids, like asteroids. And, yeah. Yeah. yeah and uh there's a i can never remember that it's like but basically space debris and everything that clashes mm. with it. Anyway, here's more of Lionel's builds. Um, mm. 
and and everything here is 3d modeled by himself and 3d printed and then painted um and he told except me except for the driver except for yes, the pilot. yes yes yeah because yeah, 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 that's the machine yeah. and krieger pilot well no no apparently he said his friend modeled this pilot and then he got permission to print it apparently. oh okay well mm. if i'm i mean listen leonel like tell us man um but mm. to me it does look like the the pilots for for the yeah yeah they're there the he said stuff, that he yeah. he bought it from a buddy yeah, yeah there are a lot of guys that are making this kind of stuff though but it's damn mm. cool it's a great model mm. that's what i'm trying to get at anyway um he even said it, yeah, i bought it from a buddy <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and there's more there's of that incredible scratch board and, yeah so guys i don't want to like hang on this stuff for too long mostly because mm. you know what this is what the bold force is about it's where mm. you know stuff like this happens we want you guys to be a part of this we don't want you to just enjoy it from a you know secondhand backseat perspective mm. of just watching the episodes come in be part of the action yeah you know so how about we do like a quick scroll and then just yes like so yeah. Yeah, there's one there's, there's pikachu's head yeah <laughs> um yeah, and rico got his kids into model kit buildings as well and they, you know there's all sorts of different type of model kits you know like these ones are very uh, designed for kids and and uh, beginner friendly with pokemon kits yeah hmm. totally so that's a great mm. kit you know to build as a gift for somebody as well hmm. you know, exactly you wanna, like, uh really, like uh, a yeah. Il, what's it ebola is a year he bought oh, some yeah. pokemon kits for for his friends kids i think yeah and this is some of his miniature work these Pretty are cool. very cool yeah. uh just to show that pink is favorite color <laughs> yeah pink is a great color man so mm. so punk love pink some uh, i'm actually i'm so excited about the pink playstation mm. controller and then here like coming back to More zero wing, wing. Yeah. that's that's the little roadway um figure that comes with the 30 minutes missions kits and then on top of the brown is like how it was molded and here's like wow he's done such a good job with painting already yeah yeah and and then yeah then the, and somebody got very excited about the tank natchin <laughs> of course because yeah. they're cool um so hopefully we can show that off on a bit of a like i would like to do one of these episodes where we're just doing like a a showcase where guys like have mm. pictures of their builds um and we can actually really really get in there i know we've sort of done that a little bit mm. um, oh they just go back they just go yeah. back to that row row though like this is the finished it's like the, all, all the little kit bashes the the, the scratch building the, the little, like original parts that he added on it's really really cool yeah it brings it and, to life it's and and, great. and if he puts this actually a little like extra part if i call it that way you know i can't wait to see what he does to the actual main kit you know it's it's crazy no shame no pre no, no pressure zero wing <laughs> yeah <laughs> no pressure um, but looking high great man high, high expectations <laughs> yeah taj Irie, uh um, yeah. did this great uh uh damn i the don't know why. i can't believe i just forgot thank you the kenbu yeah. but in mm -hmm. like non-stock colors it's looking really great yeah. um another friend this, of uh, mine from the states so that, that's great thank you Appreciate this is work. fantastic weathering and chipping all fantastic mm. chipping and weathering there on the booster but mm. you know that's not for him to show uh, hey, there's hey, one hey, of the the dogs oh, from who, uh, gunplay say so, yeah it's just <laughs> i'm busy like this is actually behind me i'm just busy cleaning up all the kits and stuff because i want to get some of them ready for the display case mm. So I've got yeah some stuff happening there. It looks like such an awesome kit. Oh thanks, but yeah man, it's it's thank you and yes it's an awesome kit. Listen, it's it's got one like, it's got one or two like irritating features to it. Um, mostly like in the there's some like annoying seams like these knees. Sorry for the dust on this kit. These <laughs> knees are a bit like irritating to sort out. Because actually. you've got like each groove as well to sort out the seam in between, yeah yeah after you've mm. uh, after you fix them and then you also got there's like on the legs on the lower legs there's like mm. a a very small section there which is meant to be soft material you know because it's in the thunderbolt universe i mean not mm -hmm. thunderbolt universe it's in the uh, origin universe yeah but it's similar to what's in the thunderbolt universe and so mm -hmm. that's actually got a seam and you have to fix that and then also paint that because it's not a separate piece that's not uh that's i'm not saying this because i'm trying to make people go oh wow like that's really irritating i'm just saying it so that you're aware that it's there mm. uh, but it's worth it to fix it anyway yeah. moving there um nobody has uh, is starting to show off some of his builds so he's got mm, himself uh, a, the, an the rg 
Yeah, the RG L strike. Yeah, it's really cool. Lots. It is cool. He's, it is. He's cool prop. Dude. He's propping up the 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 uh, backpack with the book. <laughs> <laughs> it's mm. clever because uh, a lot mm. of the RGs just. Uh, well, well anything the, with backpack the backpack is, quite, is not going to stand. Yeah, it's yeah. it's you know a bit back heavy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we got some uh, Comanche happening here. Uh, oh, we we skipping uh, just. Um, the Loud Lungs' is, uh, new build. The, oh, these... The, the Aegis bolts. Knight? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, guys, uh, I think mm. another thing is uh, Loud Lungs also has a great channel. He's actually got a Twitch channel. Uh, Twitch, Twitch, yeah. Yeah. And... Uh, now, this was on stream last night, no, I think. Yeah, this is the... Yeah. yeah. Very, very cool guy. Like, mm. really chilled. Cool builds. Just fun energy. If you guys are just excited about watching somebody else build a kit because you haven't got the time to because you're too busy or something, go and hit mm. it. And that's us, like, kind of up to date with work in progress. Um, Jeff, uh, is there anything else you wanted to maybe mention um, uh, while we're on the Discord before we go? No, uh, unless, uh, yeah, so, like, great builds. Like, keep it up, guys. You know, we, we love seeing your work in progress and even your finished builds. So, keep it up. Um, and also, yeah, we're not all just about Gundam. We're all about exactly, building you know. stuff, you know. Again, we, it's about yes. uh, diversity, you know. Diversity. Exactly. We, we obviously, we are Gunplay SA. We sell and, well, I don't want to say sell. Sell sounds so, like, we provide. <laughs> provide. We provide mecha kits and sci-fi related kits. Cool. Mm. But we love model building. And mm. we love this They're kind all of kind of related, you know. There's techniques exactly. that you can apply from all sorts of different type of model kits. Just so, make yeah. you a better builder. Exactly. 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 Cool, dude. Yeah. Um, so um, one thing, I, I know one of your initiative for February, um, before we move on, yeah. One of your initiative for February is, what's it? Oh, Backlog, Backlog to, to the, the Future. future? Mm. Yeah. So what's that about? Okay, so basically what I want guys to do is um I, I think it's just a bit of like responsible building in, in a weird way like <laughs> i know it sounds crazy right but let me <clears throat> let me just stop uh, let me just stop sharing that so guys it's it's a little bit about like responsible building because what happens is uh we get excited about these kids we see stuff mm. you know we know jeff and i we know uh you go oh wow this is really cool then you get the kit and you like start having these ideas of like, wow, this is gonna be the best kit I ever make or whatever. And then you're like, I'm not good enough to make it. And then you go and put it in the cupboard because you're like, one day I'm going to be good enough to build this. And mm. in some respects, that's there's nothing wrong with that. You know, sometimes they, you might see things on the kit that, you know, like maybe you got an MAK kit and you're not too happy about your ability to fix seams. Um, and you've spent money on that MAK kit. And so you put it aside for yourself. And the problem is, is that maybe you don't come back to that, you know, because you, you just keep building, you know, Gundam stuff or whatever's uh, because you're getting the wins and whatever's. And then you start piling this like huge log of kits in the back in, in your cupboard um, like us. Uh, yeah. Or you've got a whole bunch of like pre-built kits that are, are waiting to get painted. But, you know, maybe you're stuck and you're like, oh, I don't know what colors to you to do and all that stuff. And so Backlog to the Future is just my way of trying to help guys sort of tackle your backlog and and not let that sit and weigh you down yeah. you know at the, yeah. at the end of the day you you have to it's good to complete things it's good to finish yeah. things it's good to yeah. it's good for your soul man mm. <laughs> like yeah yeah i i think yeah it's to help the guys but also for ourselves because they're both exactly. like i i think uh, i don't know if i'm speaking for like you know correctly for you here but i i think uh, you and I are probably the most uh, uh, guilty, if I put it that way, with the biggest backlogs. So, you know, we, we're showing you in the Discord now. Um, we, we have taken some photos. Uh, and also, other guys have shared their photos of their backlog as well. So, yeah, we can just quickly skim yeah, through it. Exactly. I mean, while while yeah, we're talking about this whole backlog to the future thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, the thing is, guys, just um, with the backlog as well. Uh, hold on. Discord has disappeared. Um, what's a backlog? You know, you want to... Like, for me, I've got a bunch of, like, pre-built kits that became mm. pre-built kits because I was like, oh, wow, I want to get better at scribing or, oh, well, um, I can't find the colors I want, the paint colors I want, or I don't have the time. And the thing is, new kits don't stop coming. It's not like, 
you know, while you're like getting excited or working up the energy to build something. It's not like Bandai mm. goes, okay, well, you know what? We're going to give people a chance. No, they, they kind of just keep releasing but, stuff. But, yeah. uh, you know, if we're on that topic, Bandai has um, decreased their, their amount of new stuff or even their, their reprinting of their old stuff, you know, because of whole COVID situation. So, you know, it does give us an opportunity to, to you know, work to... on our backlogs. Oh, totally. that, that's a that's a bad picture oh, look look at that <laughs> look at i don't that. know who's i don't know whose backlog that is but that person has a problem yeah sure man work on your stuff man <laughs> no no it's somebody else who has the same table and the black painted yeah, it's no, your clone. It's your clone. <laughs> it's dude I, I gotta say i love these little tanks um mm. i'd love mm. to build one of these yeah. see that's the other thing as well that gets you with the backlog is like mm. There's, there's kits that I want because I love them in the anime or the manga or whatever. And then there's kits that I get because I'm like, that'll be a fun build. But anyway, mm. um, somebody else is showing their backlog now. Mm, yeah. So Ooh, like, what's in their box? Mm. Yeah, so yeah, my... like, do, do you, do you want to explain like what is considered as a backlog? Because like for a lot of people, they would think the unbuilt kits, like still in the box, that has backlog. But you, yeah. for yourself, you're setting as if something's not painted. Like if you if you've only done a snap build yeah. and unpainted so, yet, that's still a backlog. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what you have to do. You have to define mm. your backlog. I think that's part mm. of the process because you have to ask yeah. yourself, okay, what kit, what is finished for you? Mm. Like what is finished for me and what is finished for your different things? Maybe you're very happy. Maybe you're happy building a kit out of the box using mm. the uh, stickers that come with the box and doing your panel lining and doing everything dude it looks great like that there's no like no judgment but maybe that's where you want to go maybe mm. you're like me and you see something that's like you know like this um gm uh for example or the gm sniper and you're like well i want to do it in red you know and now and then that starts and like so then finished for me would be that Getting is a kit done and everything. In a, yeah. yes giving it a custom color mm. whatever then maybe finish for another person could be uh oh i want it to be like modified i want it to be fully colored i want it to have this and that and the next thing and i think i think it's important for us as, as model builders to to con to be in control of our expectations and to know mm -hmm. what are the kits you want to put that effort into what are the kits you don't want to put that effort into you know yeah. does you and that's the thing right yeah yeah and can vary from kit to kit right like if you're a painter it doesn't mean like oh all of a sudden all your model kit that you have has to be painted to be complete like let's say exactly. um, certain kit of like me as a painter but if i see a kit that i'm really happy with just like even just a snap build and i'll just say okay for this kit snap build i consider as complete or awesome. even just a panel line or applying the stickers that's I consider as complete but then for another kit i can define complete as something else you know yeah, yeah it's it's what do you want from the experience you know mm. are you happy with the gundam in its stock colors as it's presented in the box well good for you because all you have to do is snap it together <laughs> do some panel lines put on some stickers and maybe do a little bit of color coding paint if you mm. want to <laughs> You know, maybe uh, another little spray of top coat maybe maybe yeah maybe that's <laughs> Whatever, just, thing. Just, just just think about it and then define it and then just say okay i'm happy with this yeah exactly and so uh, so for me what i'm kind of doing now with my backlog for myself is i'm this this picture here is just you know me just showing some of my backlog um mm. and then i want to uh, put them into different groups i've put them into like firstly i've gone when do i want to have them built by because i find like that helps if you if you create like a timeline for yourself and you mm. say i want this thing built by this time you will find a way to make sure it's built by that time maybe add a week or two to that but that'll be it then like then you know that's the thing um what do i want you know we spoke about expectations it's like what are the expectations i have for this kit build like that zaku 2 i do want to do a little bit of panel lining and stuff to it mm. so i know that that's a project that I'm not going to wait to do. That's a project that I'm going to now, when I've got some free time, start sending it. So that's the next thing you have to do is plan your build. You know, you can mm. build more than one of these things at the same time. In mm. fact, for somebody like myself, I for people that maybe you guys are like me, 
I encourage this, you know, like, I don't want to say ADD or anything like that. But what I want to say is, is like, I, I love getting into one model kit and seeing it through the whole way. But I just mm. find like sometimes when I'm in the spray, booth, every multiple. Like now, yeah, it's like I like to build two or three kits parallel to each other. Mm. Um, at the same just so time, so they don't so, feel the fatigue, I suppose. Um, yes, you've always yeah. got something different. Yeah, mm. and and also you, you you like for me, I try to like let's call it in like a Gundam terms. I like to have a Gundam, a mobile suit Gundam, and maybe a Zionic suit, and then something that's not Gundam related at mm. all. Because then I'm always like, ooh, what new skills and whatever. And what's kind of interesting is that if you kind of build them like that and you do sort of prime them <laughs> at different stages and whatever, you learn different tricks and you start like yeah. applying some of them. And then you can sort of see this is, this was my black basing stage. This was my <laughs> rusted chips phase, <laughs> you know, like, but, you, but the thing is you get kids done and getting stuff mm. done is important. It's good for you. It's just mm. makes you feel better. And, like it feels rewarding. You know, it's, yeah. it's a lot of dopamine. Yeah, it's a, it's a dopamine hit. But also, like, it's also a cool talking point, you know. Like, it's cool to, you know, you can start putting them up in your display areas. I don't know. I, I actually really want us to talk about how we display our kits in another episode and how mm -hmm. we store our kits. Because that's the thing. Like, that that's, wow, that's the thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then also, guys, with a backlog, sometimes there's stuff that is actually out of your control. Like, for example... Yeah. I like, I've done a crossbow in real grade. Um, it's been in a finished state for like a long time, but I don't complete, uh, consider it complete because I want to do some like weathering, some chipping and stuff on it. And I want to do decals and I can't find decals for it. And because of the pandemic and stuff, you know, it's hard to get the stuff in the first place for starters. Secondly, Bandai doesn't do an official uh, crossbow in real grade decal set. Okay and thirdly everybody who has got them is out of stock so i'm mm. not able to get crossbone real grade decals and i just need that to finish my crossbone because i have done a, a, a clear coat i've done all of the painting i've done all the detailing mm. i've done all of that i just need my decals so i can start <laughs> doing my weathering and finish it mm. so that is irritating like that and, and is I, when you have a backlog you know, that's out of your yeah. control and, and, and i take it you're a purist you want to use decals designed for crossbone you don't want to just yeah. use some like generic mecha decals from like another third I, party and, and <laughs> i am a purist it's 50 50 because mm. to be fair on the crossbow and there are, are three or four iconic decals that yeah, are like emblems crossbow. and yeah. yes so there's the crossbow a cross a crossbow and vanguard symbol which yeah mm. you have to have that um there's the um on the boosters on the the skull boosting system there are these little decals that go on the edge of it that i feel are part mm. of the look and feel of mm. that um and then the rest i'll go you know gonzo and go nuts and be creative mm. on which is you know the the, the beauty of it. it's why my crossbone will look different from other people's crossbones yeah. but yeah uh but there is that hey it's, uh, it's sitting it's right behind you well that's my that's my master grade that's the oh. mg one <laughs> Yeah, they all look I, so small. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the 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 RG one is it's about, even smaller. Yeah, it's about this size, and it's mm. really beautiful. And some good news is, uh, while I'm waiting for decals, it might as well sit at the display at the Nexus, so it's going to be going mm. there, uh, just to chill. So that's one of them that's coming through. Mm. But anyway, that's that's the thing. So sometimes the backlog is out of your control. Sometimes it yeah. is the case of yeah. you. Are waiting for something but anyway enough oh. about backlogs um we have oh. uh we have maybe three or four minutes left on the show and well, I actually we, wanna... we have like one last segment that we wanted to cover yeah exactly yeah so we got some questions uh from the build force uh we we hmm. do this quite a bit now um we well, do it's, we... it's the first time we've done this. <laughs> yeah it's the first time we're doing this this q a from you know we get some questions from the community in our discord and then yeah we'll answer some of them and this is just so that you guys can get to know who Jeff and I are, because, you know, mm. like, who are we? But it's not only that, like, remember, uh, YouTube is an open dialogue. So, you know, hopefully when we answer your questions, you can also answer these questions yourselves in the in the comments below. And we would love to read them, you know? Of so, course. Yeah, we'd love to. Yeah. yeah, share your stuff in comments land. <laughs> uh, the comments. first one comes from uh, Ebola Zaire or Ebola Zaire. 
or mm -hmm. however you want to pronounce it. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm gonna butch that name until I. Uh, and watch, he's gonna he's gonna come. It's like he's gonna do the phonetic <laughs> spelling of it. Um, he asks, "Show us your first gumpler. Tell us why that one and how you improved since then." Jeff, you go first. <laughs> um. Well, I started Gunpla when I was a kid, like around six or five. So um, that's like over, like it's, it's about 30 years ago. So I, I doubt I have any videos. Uh, I mean, not videos, photos of it. So I can't show you that. I'm sorry. But uh, I, I can't even remember which is my first Gunpla. But one I can remember as one of my first Gunpla is a, uh, it's a SD um, BB... You know those um, gun plus with the big heads and the small bodies, the, the chibi yeah. proportions. Yeah, it was a it was a BB uh, Dragoon Gundam or was a Dragon Gundam from the G Gundams. <laughs> yeah, Dragon. it's it's a it's it's a China's uh, Gundam uh, where yeah. they have like a dragon cool head Gundam on actually. arms. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I remember it was really cool because um, even as a BB, it, it was quite. Um, the Bandai put in lots of effort for a kid that came out back in the 90s. They put like springs mechanisms. They, they gave you a spring into the gun and you can put a bullet in, well, like a bullet inside it, yeah. like a pellet. And then you can pull a trigger into a shoot. It was yeah, kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's one of my like ones I remember from, from like when I was a child. Yeah, even before I moved to South Africa from Taiwan. So yeah, so... How about you? What is your first Gunpla, if you remember? Yeah, so my first Gunpla I only got when I was... Actually, it's kind of annoying. I've been surrounded by Gunpla since I've been eight. Uh, because mm. my friend has got a whole bunch, in, uh, like BB Senshi and whatever's in. Back then, I mean, we would call them R R HG now, but it's the HG for that time. And he had F91 and all these really, really cool kits. Uh, but he never brought any of them back to me, uh, back for me from Hong Kong. <laughs> I hope you're seeing this, Dave. Uh, so only much, <laughs> much later, uh, I found I was walking actually at uh, what, when it was called the, the Randburg Waterfront. I walked past the store and they had a, a yakut doga, or the a yakut doga, mm. uh, which is one of my favorite uh, mecha designs in Gundam, by the way. And I saw it okay. and I was like, oh, and I bought it. <laughs> uh, I didn't even think twice. I just bought it uh, as you would as we all do when we see Gundam yeah and that was my first bolt and I was about 16 or 17 when I bought that so I was pretty happy with that so I would say that was my first like Gundam bolt um, mm. my first Bandai kit bolt was actually Tekkerman Dark from Tekkerman Blade which I bought quite a bit before then I actually picked mm. that up at Icon the comic okay. uh, South African comic convention but yeah so those are uh, those are my first kits Okay, and, cool, uh, interesting. Very cool. So wow. that that Yag Doga, uh, which one was it? The the green and yellow the one. Green and yellow the, one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, not was, the red and not the yeah, not red Chris and white one. one from Chris. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. the you know what's like really cool about those? I love the artwork on those boxes because it was all painted, painted up. Hmm. And hmm. I remember when I opened because I built model kits up until that point. I've been building cars yeah. and bikes and jets and tanks and stuff. And I remember like opening that box and seeing a multicolored spoo and being like, wow, <laughs> Ooh. this kid comes from the future. <laughs> it's got colors yeah. injected in. It's got yeah, I, I don't need to, injection. I don't need to paint. <laughs> oh, yeah, speaking of much. which, um, <laughs> yeah, um, I will in uh, like post editing, like put the, um, you know, um, images of these kids that you're talking Thank about. You. So, so yeah, yeah. Cool, man. <laughs> Just so that like our viewers go like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> at <laughs> number two at Screech hmm. what is your one dream custom build and one of uh, and what is your one dream custom build and one of dream kits to be released so he typed that very fast okay uh, so, so it's, so, it's yeah. two questions in one hmm. Hmm. okay right so this time you go first yeah yeah so that was dangerous <laughs> uh, <laughs> dream kit for me to be released uh, I would really really right now as we're sitting here um and it's gonna sound very similar to jeff's so i would love to see there's a lot that i'd love to see personally um but i would like to i'd really love to see like a perfect grade for like an f91 or a crossbow okay, or a sananju that would be fantastic because we okay, haven't so seen it's, that it's, yet it's not it's not similar to mine then <laughs> 
But cool. then, but realistically, uh, I mean, wait, wait, hold, yeah. hold on, hold on. He no, no, said I'm, one, I'm right? the most he indecisive. Said one. Did, did, didn't he say one? Dream, uh, he dream. said one dream kit to be released in one dream yeah, custom one. bolt. <laughs> well, okay. So, so what no, is no, the no. okay? What, what's the custom bolt? Uh, one dream custom bolt. So that yeah. means like it's something that exists already, right? Then that you want to like do your dream build, yeah. I would love to, I, and it's not like just a one thing, but just it's an idea. I really love it when guys take Gundam kits and kind of minimize them quite a bit to kind of look like um, like Ninja and stuff. There's some fantastic uh, Zakus out there that have been like slimmed and they've got like very uh, slim mm. proportions. And hmm. uh, and then there's also like an RX-78 that's just been given like this cool, the whole way it's designed, it's got like a really nice ninja vibe to it. That's okay. something I'd love to see, yeah. That actually just changed my answer now. <laughs> okay, mm. now that you mentioned that. Okay, cool, sweet. Okay, so um, uh, as for dream release from Bandai, uh, when it comes to Gumbler, I would say, uh, Bandai, where's my master grade goof custom version 2.0 exactly <laughs> it, i had the same like, feeling <laughs> same feeling i just didn't want to like, steal his well, <clears throat> yeah it, it feels like it's been like uh 10 years overdue hey like because uh you know banda you've released your um goof uh version 2.0 uh like back in what two, uh, 2009 i think that's when the goof 2.0 came out yeah. so you know in terms of inner frame in a lot of the outer frames it shares it's it's like the foundation for goof custom they just need to update the chest i think make the the the, the uh, shoulders more bulkier and just slight proportion change like exterior ar armor changes and obviously plus the the whole shield with the gatling gun and but then like what's the excuse i really can't think of it other than like they're waiting for anniversary for a mobile suit team or something you know? yeah it's driving me crazy and i think <clears throat> just to yeah. put one up on that list as well the the kempfer i'd love mm. to see a, a, a version a 2 or a real grade i would love a real mm. grade goof or goof custom or just give yeah. me both real grade mm. i'd love that i think that would be yeah. so cool i think we deserve it it's time bandai it's time <laughs> It's time. Are you, are you watching this, Bandai? Come on, get out it's time. already. Make it happen. <laughs> I'm, sh I'm sure they have done their designs already. They're just waiting for the appropriate time to release. It, I know? think so too, yeah. because we've got mm. G Gundam and but, that, that, that's something. Mm. So. Actually, sorry, this is not answering the question of what is my dream release, but going back to like waiting for the right time to release, like um, the, the Alex uh, Gundam Alex version 2.0 came out I think two years ago mm. so exactly where's the so so come on where's the camphor version 2.0 you know <laughs> it exactly. would have been a perfect to release around the same time but anyway um so now going back to the second part of what is my dream build um uh I was gonna say um my version uh what's it MG version car of the Sazabi and New Gundam, like having a diorama of it battling together with like battle damage and all that's just to create the epic fighting scene. But when you mentioned about like trimming down and making a more humanoid kind of proportions, I was like, oh. And and we saw this before um, is uh, that people take uh, Zakus with uh, Star Wars Stormtroopers kid bashing it together so i was thinking oh, i would love to get a stormtrooper and kid bashing with the like a i'll use like a hg goof or something goof custom to get mm. the whole gatling gun uh that'll be awesome but that would be very cool yeah yeah, yeah so, so that'd be the dream build so hmm. um dr ninji stein asks hmm. what are your most liked parts of the hobby and i think let's make this the last question for this episode even though there's hmm. a few more but let's do this yeah. one for yeah. now uh, Jeff, what are your most liked parts of the hobby? So, you know, there's so many aspects I love about this hobby, but if I have to define one thing for me is definitely community, you know, and, and sharing the experience with somebody else. Like throughout all my years of building model kits, I, I can recall back memories of, you know, the, the ones, the moments that I remember the most is when I had a connection with somebody else 
and that connection is formed by this model kit you know whether if it's just a friend gifting me the model kit still that's like a big part i remember about the model kit it's, it's not the model kit itself expensive man <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it's not the model kit itself but my my memories with the person you know shared with it and now my favorite part is being able to share and form more memories with our community you know going forward so yeah that's that's my favorite part about the hobby yeah that's, okay that's and yourself deep, jeff hmm. i like the box art <laughs> and this and going through the manual i like the snap build i like painting it no you got, like you got weathering to... it okay you gotta <laughs> choose those one, are my but... favorite parts of the hobby I hate the sanding. Mm -hmm. I hate cleaning up parts. It's the most mm -hmm. annoying thing in the world ever. Those are my favorite parts. No, um, I'm kind of joking a little bit. My favorite parts of the hobby are exploring. Like, I love that when you get a kit, I love the pre-build. That is one of my favorite things in mm -hmm. any kit. Like, I love the pre-build and seeing how the kit is designed and how it's engineered and how it works mm -hmm. and playing with it. I lo absolutely love that part. I mm -hmm. also love... Yeah, me too. Uh, tech uh, figuring out new tech techniques like figuring out new stuff new ways to paint stuff new ways to do things new tools to do things i mm. love that side of it as well i like the innovation like the problem solving that comes with the kit um mm. those are like my favorite things i mean dude i don't want to like now go and echo jeff's sentiments and go i also love the community listen for me model building has mostly been an isolated thing it's something i've always done by myself um mm. the only other person i built model kits with was my buddy with all the gun stuff that I mentioned before him and I used to uh, build uh, Tamiya a lot of the Tamiya stuff um, together we used to sit down and paint and talk and mm -hmm. whatever and we used to customize GI Joes um, but that would be my community building and I must say like the only other builder I've ever really fully interacted with as a builder uh, until like and I'm talking about back then like in the early 2000s stuff was actually you Jeff uh, was your hmm. brother hmm. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah i mean and those are i mean you're not wrong those are great memories because we did hmm. we did chat about a lot of stuff we did get excited it was yeah. always cool when you guys came into the store because i knew you were on a level and we could talk and yeah that's yeah, a yeah. great feeling that i've had with a few guys who i now call quite good friends of mine hmm. since then so yeah I've, I've that is a great thing i don't want to say it's my favorite part of the hobby um it's mm. one of my favorite things just in yeah. general is meeting cool people through the cool yeah. stuff that you do. So. I think, you know, we had a great time, you know, because like back, you know, even just five or ten years ago, like we don't have as many um, platforms to be able to share that uh, memories so easily with people. You know, now with Discord, it makes it so, so easy. Like it's it's uh, it's a real, um, it feels like, really at the moment sharing these moments you know like uh exactly. if you have to think a few years back when we had forums forums you know there's still a bit of time disconnect it's not as uh engaging i would say as like, so we're in yeah, a great time time. Yeah, you know with the technology that we have to to be able to share all these moments together you know? yeah i also think it's cool mm. that um i mean one of my earliest memories it's a bit of a deep cut now with jeff actually and his brother was uh, the 100th MG was going to be released and oh, yeah. I know that we are in the month or two building up to that we were speculating as to what that could be mm, and uh, yeah like MG 100 it was like oh what could it be because like I remember yeah. NG uh, 97 98 and 99 like 97 I think it was the Zaku 2 version 2.0 yeah, right. uh, it's just the greens uh, mass production grunt version and then 98 look i could be wrong but i think 98 was the same zaku 2 but it was a shaw uh, version the pink one and yeah, then 99 uh if i'm still correct 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 me correct if i'm wrong, if you're wrong. Uh, it was the uh, galgu was it the galgu I, I keep thinking it was the f91 for some reason no, I think it was a, a Shah's, uh, the, the pink Galgu version 2.0. We were thinking, yeah, oh, what could be the, a. and then, yeah, we're like, what could be version, uh, I mean, not version, what could be MG100? Like, it has to be something like, like, could it be another like, RX78 too? Because, you know, it's it's kind of, the ones previous, it's kind of, oh, is it leading to something? And then, 
It's like NG100 is like totally like you can't predict it. It's like the turn A Gundam. It's like what? Which <laughs> had no which connection cool to the build, previous the ones. Way. Yeah, it was really cool. Yeah, yeah. Like I actually want to like try and get one for myself uh, and paint it up. But yeah, I know my brother got it, and it's like really cool. Like the emblem for the MG it was like holographic. Mm. You know, it's like ah. Oh. <laughs> it's also got like parts that mesh when it bends its legs. Mm. It's got like mm. pieces that sort of like mesh into each other, and it's it's a yeah, very yeah. sexy kit from a from a design point of view. Yeah. It's just it's, and it is a bit unusual for some people's tastes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the it's got the mustache instead of like no, because because Gundams they have the iconic V fins in most mm. Gundams, but this one's got like a a V stash. <laughs> um, very, like Kabuki. I, I, I knew the the, the most oh, iconic. Yeah. Um, the I, most iconic part about the model kit, and I know it was like a, a popular meme back in the day, is that uh, it's the cow figurine that gets inserted into the chest. Like, so, so I've seen lots of memes back in the day. They say like people joke about saying, "Oh, you buy a cow figurine and you get the Gundam with it," because the people, like people, were most excited about the, <laughs> the cow figurine. <laughs> it's like, oh, you buy a cow and you get a Gundam. <laughs> It's yeah. super awkward that, but it's cool. it's. I don't know if it's cool. It's it's its own thing. Respect for it. I'd well, also love to see Banda, like, Banda. You know, is kind of quirky at times. You know, no, they are quirky, mm. guys. Um, now that I've had too much time to think, actually, I would like an excess real grade. That would be my number one kit. That's one of my favorite Gundams of all time, mm. and thankfully, a lot of my favorite Gundams. Uh, mobile suits have been released on real grade in real grade format but i would really really love to see an excess gundam real grade and that is it that's where i'm going to leave it at <laughs> and i think uh i think let's cap it off here so that you know you guys yeah. can get excited you yeah. can talk you can comment you can join the bolt force get into some kits yeah, get into like, some gundam like we look forward to uh, you know seeing your questions to these uh um hmm? yeah exactly seeing your answers seeing, seeing your answers to these questions to these in questions. the comments below yeah totally. <laughs> yeah and, cool uh cool guys yeah and then uh jeff uh are there uh, like if there's anything you want to say i'm good i just want to say thank you to you guys for chilling with us for the last mm. couple of minutes <laughs> yeah <laughs> and um listening to us talk about plastic robots and getting really excited about it and other people's plastic robots and until the next time remember to Keep building joy. Hey, you weren't saying it. <laughs> I, I was waiting. I, I thought you would go. You're, 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 you're doing the mind. So you you're doing the mind. Yeah, I'm going to go keep. You can go keep. So you go keep. I'll keep. go building and you can say joy. So remember, guys, to keep building joy. That's the, that was so odd. Fix it in the edit. Right. <laughs> yeah. Just going to make it like a song. It's going to be like. Keep, keep, keep.